Hey class, uh, today we did a little bit of a survey exercise um, to where we looked at social desirability and uh, like the importance of like reverse scoring things. I just wanted to take this time to show y'all a few different things that we can do in Excel with this data because it's <clears throat> relatively easy to get uh, and these are some of the things you're gonna have to do uh, depending on what group you're in. So this right here, this survey class exercise Excel, you can locate that. That's not where it is. Um, here in uh, like research and health, and, well, our, our Canvas course, it's under project outline and instructions. So survey class um, exercise. So you can get this document and just follow along so that you know how to do these things. And uh, now you don't have this because, well, um, uh, that's actually just reminding me to remember everything that I'm doing. So here are the questions. Uh, so one talkative, a good person, how many calories in that slice of pizza, 410 if y'all remember, and uh, uh, that question, I tend to be reserved. So let's look at all these things really quick. So super fast. Uh, so a mean. How do we calculate a mean in here? I've we've had a video with this before, but hopefully, um, uh, well, just as a refresher. So you would type in average. So equal sign. Type in average. Parenthesis. Then you just highlight everything in there, and then. There, there we go. So the average for the women's side over here for question one is 4.5. Well, here, let's highlight all of these. Let's decrease the amount of uh, significant figures there. So 4.55, that's the average for over on the female side, the I am talkative question. So remember, this is on a 1 to 7 scale. That's how that goes. Here, let's uh, do that over here uh, for the male side. So equal sign, average, parentheses, highlight it all, so on, so on. There. Okay. <clears throat> so just looking at this stuff really quick, average 4.55. Average four five, those seem like they're fairly similar. Um, and gosh, the I'm a good person, yeah, we got like right around like five and a half, um, kind of like how I thought. Now here's an interesting part: uh, the calories, the four ten, women were uh, significantly closer right here. Uh, so four ten overall. Uh, Y'all are right. Really good job. Um, that's that, that's really cool. The, there might be some social implications for why um, women were better at guessing the amount of calories in something than the men were. Um, now here, I highlighted this uh, just because the data. Well, it's uh, I, I don't think anyone really meant to guess six calories were in a slice of pizza. Um, so. They could have meant 600, um, which would really only increase this just a little bit. Um, but still, uh, women quite a bit closer with this. Here, let's do a standard deviation. So remember, uh, we have to show things as like a central tendency, which is a mean, and variance. So here, I like to just pick that one. Uh, so I just type it all out, standard deviation. And then here, we can just drag this across. OK. Good. And we can decrease that quite a bit. And here, standard deviation. Dragging that right across. 
And here I did forget. Oh, that's not one. There we go. Okay. So there's uh, like actually a little bit more variance in the women on if they're talkative than in the men. Not a bunch. Um, about the same on if you're a good person. And more variance in the caloric guess. And here, a little bit more variance in being reserved. Okay, that's, that's fairly interesting. <clears throat> so, well, we, we could uh, do fairly interesting things with uh, this type of stuff if we want to, you know, like have a graph right here. And we're, we're interested in like, uh, oh no, how talkative, uh, Gosh, I had to think about how to spell that. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, yeah. There we go on that, and we could enter um, some error bars if you want. So just some pluses. Now we could custom the range, click on specify. So there, you would click on this value, hold down control or command, command if you're on a Mac, click on that, enter. There we go. So right there, not a whole lot of difference. This is how you could represent um, some data. Uh, now, you would probably need to uh, put a little label here. Um, so, uh, miss. I, I don't think I'm spelling that right. But, you know, y'all get the point. Y'all get the point there. Okay, good. So I showed you how to do those two. Now let's talk about a correlation. So let's correlate. Let's correlate how talkative somebody is with uh, li like their prediction on uh, like how many calories are in um, a slice of pizza. So, so correlation, you would just enter equal sign, C-O-R-R-E-L, open parentheses, highlight array one, highlight array two. Close the parentheses, hit enter. Okay, that's that, that's actually interesting. There's actually a bit of a moderate correlation there. So that being positive, as this one goes up, so does uh, uh, this one. Here, let's see if this holds true in uh, men as well. Ooh. Uh, a, a fairly weak negative correlation here. So as men are more talkative, they actually seem to predict lower calories just a little bit. So that negative correlation, um, that's, oh, and I put that a little too high. Sorry about that. That negative correlation, there we go. Uh, pretty interesting, pretty interesting right there. Uh, one other thing that we could correlate would be, uh, how about we run a correlation with I am talkative and I am reserved. So if, uh, like, if those things run correctly, then they should be um, about uh, a negative correlation. 
but we'll see how this actually works. Okay, yeah, yeah, uh, like a pretty good, um, like, uh, like, what, pretty, pretty strong correlation right there. Um, that as someone is saying they're more talkative, they're saying that they're uh, less reserved or vice versa. Let's see if that holds true in males as well, at least in our class. There we go. Oh, pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. So pretty much as we would suspect that the more talkative somebody is, the less reserved they are. I, well, you know, that's really just how those words seem to work. So that's how you run a correlation. Okay, now let's run a t-test. So hopefully um, you'll remember from the lecture that um, a t-test is just comparing two different groups, uh, which is what we have. So some, some of you are going to have to do a t-test. I'm going to show you an independent t-test because we're going to compare um, uh, like females to males in this. So here, let's look at this. So how you do a t-test, equal sign t, t, E S T. Then you open the parenthesis, you highlight array one. So what I'm doing is I'm seeing if there is a difference between how talkative women are and how talkative men are. So let's pull that all the way down. All right. So I hit a comma between all of those. Then it's asking for tails. If you remember, a one-tailed distribution would be a directional hypothesis. So if I had some reason to think that women would be more talkative than men or men would be more talkative than women, I could put that. But I I don't really um, have, I, I don't think there's a directionality to this, so I'm going to put it two. So put that down, then comma. Now it's the type of t-test. So there's these two different types. Uh, or a, a couple of different ones, so paired or a dependent t-test or a two-sample equal variance. So we're actually going to pick the two-sample equal variance because here's a sample, here's a sample, two separate samples that are not uh, related in any way. I would do a paired if I was looking at somebody over time, that like if they took the survey one time and they took it another time, then I could do a paired. But in this case, we're doing uh, the two sample equal variance. You could uh, do like um, two sample unequal variance, but that's uh, that has to do with assuming that this isn't normally distributed, which we're assuming that it is. Um, so there we go. All right. Let's look at this. Okay. So if you remember, this is actually a p value. So we can say things are different when we have a p-value of less than or equal to 0 0.05. So that is not a p-value less than or equal to 0 0.05. So we would say that uh, like men and women here are not statistically different in terms of how talkative they are. Okay. Let's see if there's any difference in terms of if they say they're a good person. So I pulled that over just one. Uh, so here, let's look at that. So all I did is I dragged it over. Let's make sure. So I clicked on that. I click on this. All right, yes, Q2, Q2 comparing. All right, so here, approximately the same. So men and women do not differ statistically on how good of a person that they think they are. All right, good. Let's look at calories. Calorie guess and pizza. So here, <clears throat> that's a 0.44, so that's our p-value. So 
looking at that, Q3, how many calories, men and women do not differ statistically on um, how they, uh, or how many calories they think are in a given piece of pizza. And then one last one. All right. Now this is kind of interesting. So remember 0 0.05 is kind of our cutoff, but we have a 0 0.13 when looking at tend to be reserved. So uh, like women and men here. And just looking at the means and standard deviations, 3.82, 4.86, 1.47 and 1.07. Yeah, like this number looks higher than that number, and our statistics kind of show um, that just a little bit. Um, now, granted, it doesn't meet the threshold for statistical significance, but pretty good. Um, pretty good stuff. So uh, what we can conclude from this, men and women are about the same in, uh, in everything. Now, reservedness, maybe men a little bit more. However, that's not statistically significant, so scientists couldn't say that. There we go. That's it. Hopefully you all enjoyed this.